And the man, the third person who will be judged, will be a man who was given a lot of wealth. And he gave in every various kinds of sadaqah. He gave in every kind of charity you could imagine. He spent this wealth. And he brought before Allah. And what he did will be made known. And yanfaka fiha illa and fakta fiha luck. I did not leave a, a, a means for spending the wealth except that I spend it for your sake. Allah will say, Kathabt. Walakinaka fa'alta liyakal huwa jawadun. Fakad keel. Fumma umira bihi fa suhiba la wajhi. Fumma ulkiya fin na. Ruahu muslim. The last person is the one who gave in, in, in various types of charity. And Allah blessed them with an abundance of wealth. And they said that I, I didn't cease to spin in your cause, in, in, in every way of khair that I could. And Allah will say you lied. But rather you did it so that the people would say that you were a spendthrift, or you were a, a philanthropist, and it was said about you. So, meaning that that was your reward, that was said about you. Fakat kill, and then Allah will order him to be dragged into the hellfire by his face. That's the state of the person who's not sincere in their dawah, not sincere in their jihad. Not sincere in spending. That all of it is based upon ikhlas, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we have to worship Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and do those things, those various types of khair for His sake and His sake alone. And may Allah forgive us for our lack of sincerity. It also shows us that those are all great acts of ibadah. They were all mentioned some of the greatest acts that we can do in Islam. Striving in the cause of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala with our wealth, our bodies, and in calling to Allah with our tongues. However, if it's not for the sake of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, it actually can get us dragged into the hellfire. And we ask Allah the Almighty to protect us from a lack of ikhlas and bless us with the bad Allah Sunnah. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم